How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. This week we have our seven returns stacked up over here, one for each day of the week, and we're going to start with a private signing from Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. Hope everybody's weeks have started off well and that your mailboxes are full. Our first one is going to have a bunch of info on it. Oh, but they look good. Let's take them out of here. And whoa. Two Austin Kearns. Gold refractor from 2008 and a red refractor from 2007 for the Nationals collection. Very cool. Gotta love the shine on those cards. Austin Kearns, though. And traded over to the Nationals. The trade deadline in 2006 brought over Felipe Lopez as well. And the Nationals sent out a host of players to the Reds. But that's where he started his career from 2002 to 2006, Cincinnati Reds. Then over to the Nationals from 2006 to 2009. After that, he floated around between Cleveland, New York, and Miami. Had a 253 career batting average with 121 home runs and 494 runs batted in. I actually got him TTM way back in maybe 2007, I want to say. So pretty cool to get him through a private signing now in 2023. Checking out my spreadsheet. These were $15 per. Thought it was well worth it to get these refractors signed. I don't know which one I like better. Probably the gold refractor. That's old RFK Stadium here. I don't know. I believe the gold is numbered out of 50 and the red is numbered out of like 25 or something really low so pretty cool cards thank you mr austin currents for doing the private signing and five tool signings for posting him our next one is parts unknown but it is super duper thick gotta be careful with this one we have oh Joe Muller never sent to him before what we got going on here jeez got a... there we go took me a second there as his testimonial that's signed that's pretty cool with his 63 tops put that back there then we have a 69 tops very nice 63 matches up well and then a 68 tops three of four four of three success mr joe moeller again great ttmer i've seen a lot of people get him back and i've never sent to him before myself this is the first for me but pitch for the dodgers pretty much his entire career you'll see that 68 uh tops here has the astros on it although i don't believe he ever actually pitched for houston but with the dodgers from 62 to 1971 where he won 26 games in his career with a 401 ERA 307 strikeouts after his uh, playing career was over he went and joined the Marlins as an advanced scout he won a World Series ring with them in 2003 pretty cool also pitched in a World Series against the Orioles way back in 1966 so we have a 4-3 success Checking it out here. 10 days. That's awesome. Thank you, sir, for your autograph. I think we're going to have to put these down here. Nice vintage cards. There we go. Let's see who we have next. Coming out of Columbus, Ohio. Slice into the top there. We have... Bob Vogel, all right. Former Ohio State lineman on a 71 tops and a 70 tops. Looks like they were taken on exactly the same day. They just said, look to the left and use that for the 71 tops. But geez, as we said, though, Ohio State Buckeye alum won a national championship with them back in 1961 and then went on was a first-round pick by the Baltimore Colts. Fifth overall in the 1963 draft, where he spent his entire playing career from 1963 to 1972. Helped them win a Super Bowl, Super Bowl V that was. 
was a five-time Pro Bowl selection and a five-time All-Pro, also an All-American at Ohio State. Checking out the spreadsheet here, we have a 2-2 two two success, just nine days. Thank you, Mr. Bob Vogel. Good to get a uh, football vintage return back. Love the 71 Tops cards. And our next run is from Shreveport, Louisiana. Another hard card in this one. We have Wayne Causey. Look at that. That's a great signature on that 69 Tops. And the 63 Tops. Wow. Those turned out great. Two of two success. Mr. Wayne Causey spent a long career in the major leagues from 1955 all the way to 1968 where he played for the Baltimore Orioles, the Kansas City A's, the Chicago White Sox, the California Angels, and the Atlanta Braves. He had a 252 career batting average with 35 home runs and 284 runs batted in. He added in 12 stolen bases just for good measure and had 800. 819 hits. Very cool return for Mr. Wayne Cowsey. Checking out the spreadsheet here. Another first timer for me, but 2 2 success, just 13 days. Man, he has a really nice autograph. We're going to put him right here. I really like that 63 Tops card. Great little utility infielder. Next one West Palm Beach, Florida. Another hard card in here. Hopefully it means more vintage. It means a Hall of Famer. Wow, I've never sent to Bob Greasy before. Look at that, 81 tops. Look at those big glasses. Very cool. This is my second Bob Greasy auto total. I met him in person once. I got him to sign a rookie card, but it's my first time sending to him TTM. But first round pick in 1967 out of Purdue, fourth overall. Then spent his entire NFL career with the Miami Dolphins from 1967 to 1980, which means this 1981 Topps card should have his entire career on here. Very cool. He was a two-time Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl seven and eight. Was a six-time Pro Bowler, led the NFL in passing touchdowns once. Also a two-time AFL All-Star. Courses in the Pro Football, Hall of Fame, Pro Football Hall of Fame, the College Football Hall of Fame, the Miami Dolphins honor roll. They've also retired as number 12. He was an All-American at Purdue. He threw 25,000 passing yards with 192 touchdowns. Checking out the spreadsheet, we have a one-on-one -on -one success in 19 days. I don't know why this is the first time I've ever sent to this Hall of Famer, but it is. And it turned out great. Thick blue Sharpie. Let's go to Miami, Florida. Not too far from West Palm Beach. Another hard card in here. Larry Little. Guy used to block for Bob Greasy. I think a few weeks back I saw uh, Math Buller getting back. There's a 73, 72, and a 78. And he said Larry Little's signature's changed a little. I don't know. Maybe a little. Larry Little's changed a little. I don't know. I don't see too much of a difference on that 72 tops, but who knows? Did send a few with this one, but Larry Little spent most of his career predominantly with the Miami Dolphins from 69 to 1980. Also spent some time with the San Diego Chargers, believe it or not, from 67 to 68. He was undrafted out of Bethune-Cookman. Was also a coach there after his playing career, but let's talk about that playing career where he won two Super Bowls with Bob Greasy. Was a five-time pro baller, part of the NFL All-Decades team in 1970. All of that culminated in him being elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Let's check out that spreadsheet here. We have a three of three success. I sent $10 total. I believe he signs one for free, and then anything after that is $5. So we have a three of three for $10. That rookie card looks great. Let's put it up here. Looking 72 tops. Getting real nice and close in here. And we have one more return to go from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. If I can find my scissors, we can cut into the top. Alrighty. 
we have Eddie Fisher. Good way to end it. On a 64 tops, 63 tops, and a 68 tops. I didn't know I sent him three. I guess I did. Man, really like the way that 63 turned out. Nice thin black ink. Not ballpoint. Must be felt tip. But Eddie Fisher played from 1959 all the way to 1973 with the Giants, the White Sox, the Orioles, Cleveland, California a Angels, uh, back with the White Sox and then the Cardinals. He was an all-star in 1963 and helped the Orioles win the World Series in 1966. He won 85 games in his career with 82 saves, a 3.41 ERA, and 812 strikeouts. Let's see here. 3 of 3 success. Just nine days. So all of these really came back in less than two weeks, believe it or not. Well, I guess Bob Reese took almost three weeks. But really quick returns. Thank you, Mr. Eddie Fisher. It's pretty much all vintage this week, minus, uh, I guess, the Bob Greasy and the Austin Kearns. That's a pretty awesome week of TTMs. What do you think? What's your favorite? Probably going to have to go with that Bob Greasy. But thank you for watching, everyone. Hope your mailboxes are full. Bye for now.